Oklahoma Tax Commission. The commission says it has the names of nearly 7,000 people who have unclaimed property. In the state's last fiscal year, more than $10.5 million in unclaimed property was reported. The names are on file at the commission's unclaimed property section. Well, computer users have reason to celebrate this week. Windows 95 hits the computer market this Thursday. TV5's Rob Heyman gives us a sneak preview of this revolutionary new computer application. It's the talk of the town. Make that the talk of the country. A computer application called Windows 95, and it's everywhere you look. Well, it's the biggest thing to hit computers since the PC itself. It's supposed to be, supposed to be mega compatible with everything. You know, is what it so what exactly is Windows 95 anyway? Well, we spoke to some computer gurus today to fill us in on some of the excitement. Simple user's definition, it's a new operating system that, which basically runs your system without much work at all. Uh, basically, Windows 95 is designed to do is to kind of make it as easy for the new users as well as for the old users. If using a new computer has set your mind spinning into a confusing blur of icons, Sefuente says Windows 95 will help make sense of the cyber mayhem. Windows 95 will allow the user to print, copy files, and program all at once, at the same time boosting your computer's computing capacity. But Windows 95 is not for everyone. You have to have the right kind of computer to install it, for one. But that hasn't squashed customer interest or excitement for something that may repave the landscape of computer programming. I think uh, for a lot of people, um, this will open up a whole new world. Uh, it's supposed to just make the computers so much easier to run. Than kid. And, and that's surprising, considering <laughs> Windows 95 hasn't hit the market yet. Windows 95 goes on sale nationwide Thursday with a $50 to $100 price tag. But Sefuente says the hefty price tag won't keep people from buying it. For TV5's Morning News, I'm Rob Heyman. And let's check in with Elizabeth.